Hello, my name's Ben Welsh, and I'm coming to you from the Los Angeles Times Newsroom. In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Python computer programming language on Windows. It's going to take four steps, which I've laid out here below. First, we're going to verify that Python is not already installed. Assuming it's not, which it shouldn't be, we'll then download an installer from python.org. We'll then run that installer, and then we'll verify that Python's installed and working. All right, ready? Let's go. All right, to start, let's go down to your, your start menu in the lower left-hand corner, and let's click it and type in three letters, CMD. That'll bring up the Windows command prompt. We want to select that from the menu, which will open up your terminal. Here at the terminal, we're going to want to type in Python, which is basically asking your Windows computer to run the Python computer programming language. I hit Enter, and this happens. This is an error. Windows is telling me it cannot find Python, it doesn't know what I mean, it cannot run that command. That means the Python's not installed, and that's what we should expect to see happen. If something else happens, if your computer doesn't throw an error and goes down into a little terminal that begins with uh, maybe some little carrots like this where you can begin typing in Python code, then you're good to go. You already have Python installed and you can stop this right now. All right? But assuming you don't, let's move on. We're going to close the command prompt. We're going to open up a web browser and we're going to go to python.org, which is the official website of the Python Software Foundation. I already have that open in my Google Chrome. Here it is. You should see a home page something like this. In the top bar, there's a button that says Downloads. Hover your mouse over that button. You'll see a drop down like this appear. And there's two buttons on the right to download two different versions of Python. Python 3 or Python 2. It's not important right now that you understand all the differences between the two. If you're curious to know, you should Google it. There's quite a lot to read. But in this instructions, uh, I will be showing how to install Python 2. All right? And so to do that, click right here to get the latest version of Python downloaded. I've already downloaded it, so I didn't need to do that, but it's still all right. You should click the button yourself. In my downloads folder, you can see uh, the version of Python I downloaded earlier, as well as this one I've just downloaded now. You should go to wherever you download your files and find the, this file that it once you've found it, do what I'm about to do. Double click on it. All right, Windows is going to ask, is it okay to install this program? The answer is yes, so hit run. That will open up the uh, Windows installer of Python. All right, we're going we're gonna to proceed through this, hitting the next button and accepting all of the defaults as we go. All right, this is where Python will be put on your computer. And now here, in this third panel, is a very important extra bit of configuration that's necessary when we install Python. Here is a list of things that Python is installing. Currently not included is this final item on the list. It reads add python.exe to the path. All right, we want this to be done. So we're going to click on that button and a little drop down will appear and we will select the first option will be installed on local hard drive. The icon should then change from a red X to a gray drawing of a box, which I think is supposed to be your computer, but I'm not totally sure. What this is doing is it's making sure that the, all the files that get installed with Python in that folder we saw on the previous panel will be available to you on your command prompt no matter where you are. When you're navigating through your files and folders and all the code that you're going to write later, no matter where you are, you'll be able to type Python and use Python and the same for many other Python tools that you'll probably learn about later, like pip. All right, make sure you've, you've checked that button and then hit next. Now the Python installer is gonna proceed and in putting all the files on your system. This will take several minutes. While this happens, I'm going to pause the tape so that you don't have to sit and watch it, but you should just yourself wait and, uh, and when you're finished, uh, turn me back on. All right, see you in a minute. All right, I'm back. My Python installer is finished, and it's, I'm on the final panel where it's simply asking me to hit the Finish button to complete the installer. I'm going to hit that, and you should too. All right, now we're going to move on to the final step, which is to verify that Python is installed. To do that, I'm going to go back to the Start menu 
and again type three letters, CMD, which should bring up the command prompt. I'm then going to select that to open it. Now we're back where we began. From the command prompt, I'm going to type the word Python, but this time I'm going to hit space afterwards, and then dash dash, two dashes, and then the word version. Python space dash dash version. Go ahead and type that in, and hit enter just like I do. This means Python's installed. The command was found, there was no error, and as I asked it to with that option at the end, Python has printed out the current version installed, which you can see is version 2.7.13. You should just check to make sure that's the same version you downloaded from the website, and, they, and you'll know that everything is lined up. Congratulations, you've installed Python.